bar, uh, defending and just being a leader out there vocally and uh, mentally. Your dad played against Gentry in the NBA Finals. What kind of information did he give you as to the type of system he runs and what you need to do to stay? I, he didn't really give me any kind of like inside information or nothing like that. I mean, he, he actually worked with uh, Coach Gentry back in the day when, when they were both with the Pistons. So, um, you know, if anything, it was just kind of like coming in to, uh, you know, to, to, to family almost. But, um, you know, at the same time, like I said, you know, I'm just going to go out there and do whatever it is that Coach uh, Gentry asked me. I know that, that there's an emphasis here to bring up tempo here up and down the court. Talk about the defensive side of the ball and what I mean here and now. Talk about you guys to be a better defensive team as well, while also running and running. I mean, you know, it's cliche, but it's the truth. You know, offense wins games, and defense is ultimately what, like, you know, sells the deal and gets your rings and wins championships. So, um, there's no secret that, you know, any any good team is going to have to play defense. And, you know, being a point guard, you know, you have to set the example both on offense and defense. So, uh, you know, I have to I have to do my uh, job, you know, defensively as well. I think you've been doing it very long, but is there a different kind of pressure that comes with um, having to play some of the ball and in a short amount of time and try to win a roster spot either here or one of the NBA Not so much. Um, you know, I've been playing this game for a long time. You know, uh, a, lot of, a lot of that pressure that I had kind of went out the window, I'd say, uh, last season, you know, after I had got my, my call-ups. And, you know, a lot of the pressure was kind of just released. And, you know, I just really was just focused on going out there and playing my game. Uh, not really worried so much about, you know, my stats. But just trying to uh, just do all the little things that you know, I can't make it a bigger impact in the floor. But do you think about it, if it doesn't work out here, then uh, where will it work out for you? Whether it be abroad or not? I really haven't, I haven't really put too much thought into that right now. I mean, um, I spent the last two, two seasons in the B League. It was a great learning experience. Um, you know, I, yeah, I haven't even thought about it, but you know, I'm here now, so that's all I'm really focused on. How hard is it to stay patient when you're getting waiting for that opportunity? I mean, I really don't have a choice. You, you stay patient, or you're not gonna get an opportunity, but you have to stay ready at the same time while being patient and uh, just being humble at the same time. It's a, it's a growing process. You know, just grinding day in and day out, trying to keep up. You know, everything uh, being consistent, but um, that's what it takes to make it. You know, so. Got to do it. We haven't gotten to see any practices or anything. How's this team going to look this weekend? Um, I think we're ready. You know, I think we're really starting to come along really, uh, really well. Uh, a lot of a lot of faces you know, that I haven't seen, I haven't played with before. You know, obviously as a point guard, you know, one of my one of my things is I have to go out there and try to see what everybody else does on the floor and try to learn. You know, learn their games individually. But you know, the longer we practice and the more we play together, the better it will be in the long run. So. You guys have a Chinese player here, obviously, that I don't think his English is grasp is that great. I mean, is there a challenge to communicate with him and work something? We actually like have that? a translator out here. Uh, uh, he has a translator out here, and um, he's just been relaying any information, you know, from the coaching staff to him directly. And, you know, he seems to be picking it up pretty, uh, pretty quickly, so there's no issue there. Yeah, but how difficult is that going to be? We're not going to see the translator running up and down the court this weekend, right? How difficult is that going to be? <laughs> Very true. Um, you know, I mean, so far in the in the uh, uh, like the tight scrimmages that we've been doing, he's been playing okay, and he seems to know his positions and, and, and space now on the floor and, and the, uh, the offensive and the defensive play calling. So, um, you know, he's a quick learner. Is he raw? What's what's his skill set like? Huh? It seems to be a uh, like a stretch big, where you know he can kind of you know shoot a little bit, put the ball on the floor a little bit. Uh, you know, I haven't. I mean, this is only my third day. Uh, a lot of a lot of this is been teaching so we haven't really gotten a chance to see you know exactly what everybody can do out on the floor but um, yeah. <laughs>